What is up guys, it's your boy and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you guys a general idea on how to make a Doom Shop type beat. Now, if you're not familiar with, you know, Doom Shop, it's basically funk. Just with extra levels or less levels, depending on how you look at it. It's basically got the funk vibe without the funk vocals for the most part, or at least you're not going to be using them that much. So yeah also before i jump into the video i wanted to say that now i finally have the option for you guys to join the channel which is basically uh, kind of like a twitch subscription that way you can support me directly through youtube and you'll get some rewards such as a custom role for each levels uh, on my discord server and uh, i'm gonna be posting some snippets some bts footage or something that only you guys could see the ones who actually joined the channel and if you join at level three you're gonna get a free loop pack every month which i think is pretty cool oh yeah i'm just gonna jump into the video so as you can see we're in fl i'm gonna be using my funk drum kit for this one just because it has pretty much everything that i need and you can also get it by using the link in the description uh the 50 percent sale is still going i decided to extend it for a few more days so you can get this one at uh five bucks I think anyways so for the melody i wanted something uh jazzy but not really so i basically just pitched it down and it sounds like this and as for the bpm i decided to go with 165 because i kind of had a drum pattern in mind and i wanted something a bit faster and you'll see what i mean in a second actually picking the drums you just want to have a boomy 808 but slightly distorted and for the snares and everything just pick something that's kind of old school but not necessarily so uh i guess snare 5 would do or snare 9 or both honestly and for the 808 something like 808 1 or 807 would also do so as i said i'm just gonna lay down the melody which i already did and now uh, i'm just gonna pick some drums listen to the melody see uh, which drums fit best and uh, then we'll actually get to making the beat and then structuring it because i have some ideas okay so i picked three snares because i want to stack two of them and then use the, th the third one as kind of the trap snare so you'll see what i mean uh, i chose this kick it hits hard and it's kind of subby because I just want you to mostly feel it instead of just hearing it. Then for the other weight, I, I picked the first one and I picked this hi-hat, which I might uh, add some bit crushing to, but I'll see. So now I'll just make the basic snare pattern and then actually I'm going to make a specific intro pattern, which uh, I'm going to add an, a kind of interesting uh, a high pass slash low cut to it with some bit crushing and you'll see in a second although first of all we have to know the scale of the melody just because it's gonna make tuning 808s easier uh, but since I pitched this down I still need to do some math so I'm gonna be using key finder And apparently it's uh, A sharp minor, but if I actually pitched it down for cents, uh, for semitones, it's going to be F sharp and also the 808. We need to tune this one as well. Make sure it's on C. Okay, it's on C for the most part. Doesn't need tuning. Also, use the soft clipper on the master. Don't be a fool. Otherwise, your shit is going to get med limited and it's going to sound like ass. So let's start with the 808. Also enable the envelope on it, just so you have full control. And go on helpers, scale highlighting, and then choose uh, your scale, so that way you'll know exactly when you're in a scale or not. So minor natural, and then F sharp. And I'm just gonna place down the pattern, so I can actually listen to the melody and the 808, so I can know if it actually sounds all right. <laughs> So something like this, but I'm just going to duplicate it uh, once and also copy everything. So we just basically extend the pattern. If you want to copy something without doing control C, control V, you can simply select all of them by using control A or command A if you're on a Mac and then just hold down shift and drag these out like this. Right, 
so this should do for the beginning pattern. This is basically the intro. Uh, although I'm just gonna EQ the 808 just a little bit so it's not too in your face, but still kind of hard as well at the same time. And now I'm actually gonna delete this last E note on the 808. What I'll do, I'm gonna be using a VST, which is you know a plugin. Uh, you can get a free one, but I'm gonna be using the kilohertz tape stop. I just like it better control wise and everything. You can use the D blue one, which is perfectly fine. I just like uh, the kilohertz one more just because you can actually input the milliseconds. So that way you know exactly how long the, the tape stop is gonna go for. I actually made a video on that so you can check it out if you want to use this one and know exactly how to use it it won't take long so in this case i want to do a tape stop when the snare hits so boom, it goes down so that way this is going to be our transitioning point into the actual drum pattern of the track so i'm just going to duplicate this one and make it unique so we still have uh, the basic pattern and now i'm actually going to rename the first pattern to let's say intro drums and then the second one to just drums and now i'm gonna be adding the tape stop and then i'm gonna be trying to do some interesting sounding uh low cut intro we'll see let's see how we can achieve this weird low pass radio ish i might have to use a different vst for this but we'll see Okay, so to actually achieve this uh, old sounding kind of, not necessarily VHS, but kind of cassette tape, I guess, uh, I'm gonna be using Degrader by, I think it is Clevgran, not sure, I completely forgot, but you can use any bit crush. So I'm just gonna automate the uh, mix levels for both the EQ and the Degrader to stop basically when the drums come in. <laughs> And now it's actually time to make the drums and change them. I want to, I don't know, I want the drums to start with like a aggressive four kick pattern, beginning thing type beat, I don't know. You know what I mean? Just something really aggressive. It just comes in hard and you know you're going to be in for a ride, for a wild ride, actually. But then again, I don't want to have the kicks too often because then it's going to be too much. If I'm actually going to have like a double kick or something, I'm going to play with the velocity just so it's not as aggressive. It, it won't take away from the punchiness of it. Because, you know, the more you hear it, the less hard it becomes, if that makes sense. You just, you got to keep it balanced somehow. And I'm also going to do some kick rolls by using Alt-U. And just playing with the velocity like this. And I'm also probably going to stack the kick with the last, very last snare. So something like this. Now that I have the main drum pattern, I'm just going to duplicate it, make this one unique. And uh, I'll just remove these first beginning kicks. I don't want to make this too often. So I'm only probably going to have them once per verse. So maybe twice in the whole beat, I feel like that's enough. So I'm just going to place them like this. Although what I could do is actually sidechain the kick to the 808. And I know that might be some controversial thing. It might actually work in this context. So I'm just going to be using one of my sidechaining presets. Uh, you can learn how to sidechain. I have a video on that. So I'll just sidechain the kick to the 808. And let's see how that's going to sound like. let's actually listen to this with the melody i might actually uh, sidechain the melody as well because why not you know have it 
this is pretty much it on how to make a Doom Shop sounding beat. Uh, of course, there is no uh, written formula on how to do these kind of beats, but you're basically doing funk without the funk vocals for the most part. Uh, you can still add some, you know, funk vocals if I were to just go on my drum kit, go to vocals, and then just, I don't know, find something that actually fits. So you can do something like this. <laughs> And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said in the beginning, you guys can get my drum kits, including this one, uh, at 50% off until a few more days. And you can also uh, press the join button and you get some extra perks, as I said, and all those kind of things. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions for me, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to try and do some of them, if not one of them. But yeah, it was your boy Ganso. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.